Well, hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about low-level laser therapy for hair loss with menopause. Today's video is kindly sponsored by iRestore. And yes, for those of you who have been asking, they did give me a discount code. So if you make sure to check in the description box, you're gonna see a link and my code, which will save you quite a bit. Menopause is a time period where many women experience hair loss, hair thinning. And for women who are genetically predisposed, they can start to develop a type of hair loss, the most common type of hair loss for that matter, called androgenetic alopecia, or commonly referred to as pattern hair loss. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the biology behind how it is that menopause causes hair loss. The proper definition of menopause is the permanent cessation of the menses for 12 months due to estrogen deficiency. What exactly is low-level laser therapy? Low-level laser therapy is a non-invasive treatment for androgenetic alopecia, aka pattern hair loss, in both men and women, and it works by delivering specific wavelengths of light which stimulate metabolism in the hair follicle and effectively improve blood flow to the follicle, allowing for the delivery of growth factors necessary to grow healthy hair. It also likely works by stimulating those hair follicles to return to the growing phase. With androgenetic alopecia, a common type of hair loss that women often experience with menopause, what's going on is that the hair follicles that grow out terminal hairs that you see with your eyes, because of hormonal changes, which I'll explain in a moment, the hair follicle gets converted from a terminal hair to a little vellus peach fuzz hair. And in women, that's often noted as a widening of the central part. Low-level laser therapy has been shown to be a safe and effective treatment for this type of hair loss, and it can be done in the comfort of your own home. And it also can be done alongside other treatments for androgenetic alopecia. Now, there are many devices on the market. Not all devices are created equal. The iRestore Elite device is the most powerful low-level laser therapy device on the market because it uses a combination of both lasers and LEDs to deliver light. It has 500 lasers and LEDs that deliver an effective dose at an effective angle for good depth of penetration. And I also love that their device has great covered. What is it about menopause that leads to hair thinning and the onset in many women, although not all, of androgenetic alopecia. During menopause, the body goes through a significant hormonal shift. Specifically, there is a decline in estrogen. There's also a decrease in progesterone. Now, not every woman will go on to have hair thinning and hair loss with menopause, but many women do. Menopause is not a copy-paste process. Every woman's experience, the symptoms that she develops will differ. When we're thinking about the hair follicle though, I want you to really think about it as a mini organ. Each follicle in your scalp is a mini organ whose biology is directly influenced by hormones. Estrogen plays a big role in telling the hair follicle to put out a hair, to grow hair. It binds to receptors in the hair follicle and it extends the growing phase of the hair cycle. It also is important for the synthesis of growth factors that are necessary for growing your hair. Because of the roles of estrogen in hair follicle biology, it should come as no surprise that regardless of if you have a genetic tendency towards androgenetic alopecia or not, many women will experience a decrease in hair cycle renewal, as well as a decrease in overall hair density and thinning of the hair. The other hormonal change of note as it relates to hair follicle biology is a decline in the hormone progesterone. Progesterone plays an important role in the hair follicle in that it suppresses an enzyme which is responsible for the formation of a very potent form of testosterone called dihydrotestosterone. Now, if you know anything about androgenetic alopecia, which as I said, often comes about with menopause, androgenetic alopecia, you get that miniaturization of the hair follicle, remember? It turns into a little vellus hair. 
dihydrotestosterone is a key driver of that miniaturization process. So as the levels of progesterone, which was keeping that enzyme in check, start to decline, you can see how in somebody who has a genetic tendency towards androgenetic alopecia, that rise in uh, dihydrotestosterone can start to lead to miniaturization of the follicle. Estrogen is also really important for blood flow to the follicle and the delivery of nutrients and growth factors. Also, estrogen has a vasodilatory effect, meaning it enhances blood flow by opening up the blood vessels. And therefore, when you have a decline in estrogen, you have less blood flow to the scalp. But at any rate, it is not uncommon for women to experience thinning of the hair, a change in overall hair density with menopause due to decline in estrogens and overall scalp health. The reason low level laser therapy can be particularly effective for androgenetic alopecia is that it's really getting at a lot of the root cause issues, specifically in the case here, as we're talking about menopause in women, because it does improve blood flow to the scalp. It does improve the metabolic health of the hair follicle and uh, the energy of that follicle. The hair follicle is a very metabolically demanding factory. And so low level laser therapy can actually via a process known as photobiomodulation, improve the metabolism at the level of your hair follicle, supporting improved hair growth and an overall improvement in hair thickness and hair density. As a fun fact, did you know that to produce one gram of hair requires as much energy as you would expend doing six minutes of intense exercise using both your arms and legs. So this is this is a really demanding demanding feat, if you will. Now, why do I recommend the iRestore Elite? I have used this device myself. I have the most confidence in iRestore devices. They are FDA cleared and they are clinically backed. And the thing I like most about them actually is the design. You'll find a lot of devices on the market that don't really cover the scalp adequately. As I said, with menopause, it's not uncommon for women to experience diffuse thinning. So using a device that just gets right here is not going to really address the entire scalp for the diffuse thinning. The other thing about iRestore that makes it a great device is the Lumitech trademark technology that combines both uh, medical grade lasers and LEDs to effectively deliver powerful energy to the follicle. And the Elite device is the most powerful device on the market using 500 lasers and LEDs. I use the device myself at home. It's so easy. You use it daily just 12 minutes. You can do this at home, at the computer, answering emails, 12 minutes. That's all it takes, 12 minutes a day. Now, you're not gonna see results overnight. It does take time for this to start working, but you can start to see results in as little as three months. Now, can you use this along with other hair loss treatments? You can. Low-level laser therapy can be used with other hair loss treatments, including topical minoxidil, oral minoxidil, finasteride, any hair loss treatment that you may have been uh, prescribed or recommended by your doctor can be used with low-level laser therapy. And in fact, some studies suggest that when used in conjunction with low-level laser therapy, many patients see better results than other treatments by themselves. When I heard iRestore was coming out with the Elite device, I was really excited because I have previously been using their professional device for many years, as you guys know, and loving the results. I have noted an improvement in overall density and thickness. Now, I haven't been using the Elite as long as I have used the iRestore professional because it is a newer device. I've been using this for about three months and I'm definitely still seeing an improvement in thickness and density. And I look forward to sharing with you guys my experience personally using this in the future with updated videos. So make sure you stay tuned for follow-up videos. I also like that the device itself offers extended scalp coverage and the number and power of the combination of lasers and LEDs leads to an effective at-home 
treatment option for androgenetic alopecia, commonly referred to as pattern hair loss. The other thing I really like about iRestore in contrast to many of its competitors on the market is their money back guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied with the device, after a year, you can get your money back. Because hair growth does not happen overnight, it takes time and it'll take time to see results. I really appreciate that about iRestore. You're always gonna have that person who's like, well, maybe I just haven't been using it long enough for myself to really see results. I really respect them for carrying out that window to a more reasonable 12 months because it is an upfront investment, but it definitely can make a difference. I personally use these devices myself and I find them to be very effective and I recommend them for patients who have androgenetic alopecia and are looking for an evidence-based, effective at-home treatment option they can do in the comfort of their own home. If you're interested in checking out the iRestore Elite device, Check the link in my description box and use my code because they're offering a pretty significant savings on the device. So take advantage of it. Like I said, in my opinion, this is the best device on the market. It's the most powerful device. It's FDA cleared and it's clinically proven effective. All right, guys, those of you who are iRestore users, let me know what device are you using? What has been your experience? Have you tried the new Elite device? And what do you think of it? Let me know. I'm loving it and I'm excited to chat with you guys and share updates in the future as to how things continue to go for me. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I hope it was helpful to you in learning about how low-level laser therapy can be helpful for androgenetic alopecia and hair thinning with menopause and exactly the biology behind what is going on as that hormonal change is going into effect with menopause and the hair follicle. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.